Good morning. Good afternoon. I've got a new toy. A 14-foot tandem kayak in a very intelligent way to load it. I just marked the center of the craft so I can have an easier time seeing it. My target point and then my adjustment on uh, those things, the cradles. That worked out better. This is the way we do it. Yeah, that's working out much, much better. I trimmed all that extra off of here so that you don't have to deal with a mile extra material every time you're cinching it. And I'll tuck this right here. Cool, I like that. All right, this is the cool part. Since the Subaru is so low, I have to take a knee here. But I'm sure if you had a taller vehicle, you could appreciate the beauty here. Really small clamps. I'm not lifting it. The slave cylinders in there are lifting it, mostly. I'm steering it and just living mathematically about 17 pounds. All right. Check it, it's all set. And of course, never set your keys now. You'll be looking for them all the time. Watch this. Release the grip. The boat comes up, locks into this position. And voila, I'm working within my power zone. Steer it with a slight lift. Not to let it slam. Lock it. That's the last part I want to show you in this video. If you want to install the Tule elevator on a Subaru, I've got 2017 Subaru Outback. If you want to install the Tule elevator, that's the base. I had to order, found this supplier from another YouTube video. ADF, I believe that's Anderson Design Fabrication. I just typed in ADF into the Google search and I got their web page. It's um, a nice piece of steel. They make them to order, so you won't get it overnight. Um, be patient. But it bolts into where the hooks go for your Subaru. So you can take the factory crossbars off, install these in, and gives you just enough overhang. And then this is the base for the toolie. It's in two parts, uh, the elevator, the, the top part with the piston in it, and you take that off when you're not using it, put it away, and then just the base stays out here in the car. It just snaps into that um, end down there and snaps into this end right here. And it gave that perfect uh, amount of extension, and those holes almost lined up. So you're mounted directly to here with the bolt. I think I had to drill a hole on the other side because it was close, but not quite right. But anyhow, that's that's the foundation you need to start. You can add the elevator. And, and having done it now and coming home tired, it was definitely worth having that assist and that lift and that secure storage up on top of the car. Um, just had to, had to share that base or that foundation.